Welcome to another video in our series on web page design in HTML. And this is a special video. It's not anything that needs to be in the syllabus. But for those of you in grade 11 or 12 that are doing your PATS, you might see in the rubric there's a section that you need to include in your website uh, HTML tags that you weren't actually taught in class or aren't in the syllabus. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you some tags that are quite easy to use and that can add some nice fun stuff to your web pages that can add extra features and you can get the marks. So remember you need two of these tags so you pick which ones you think are the best and apply them to your web page. So let's first of all look at the first one. The first one, I think this is the most popular one that people are going to use, is the marquee one. And so the marquee is basically text or an image or something that will scroll across the page. Um, so there are attributes, but you can go and research the different attributes. We're just going to do simple stuff at the moment. And so basically you might have the marquee tag, and then you will have some sort of text that you want to scroll across the page, and then you will close the marquee tab. And so what will happen is that welcome to my page part will literally scroll across the page, and then it will come back on the other side again and keep scrolling across. So a little nice little dynamic. Don't, don't use it too in too many places. Just have one, maybe one key place, just to add some dynamic visuals to your um to your your web page okay so that's a nice one to use another one that you could use is the del or del um tag and that basically crosses out any text that's in the the web page so it actually puts a line through it it's like strike through in word so maybe you want to show corrections or show something that's been taken out so if you put the del tag on either side of whatever the text is it will put a line through that particular text like strike through so that's one option. You might have find a place that that could be useful. Um, maybe not, but if not, then try the mark tab. The mark tab will actually highlight the text that's between the two tags. So if I have text and I have the mark tag on either side, open and close, it will actually highlight the text as if you put a highlighter over it. I think it tends to be yellow in text, so it actually obviously doesn't work on your page if it's got a yellow background, or you can try it out but it tends to be yellow in text. There are attributes that you can use to change the color. You can go research that if you so wish. And then the last one, this one's quite a nice one um, that you can use. It requires a bit of editing and you need to do a little bit of work to get it to work, but it's, it's quite a nice one. It adds lots of value to your web page, and that's if you want to display a video. What if you want to display a video from YouTube, for example, on your channel or on your, um, your web page? So, if you want to add a YouTube video, this is what I recommend you use. You're going to use the iframe tag. So you're going to have your iframe tag, and you're going to close it immediately. There's actually nothing that you put in between here. So you're just going to have it open and closed. And then there's a couple of attributes that you need to set. Now, the first attributes is how big do you want to display this um, video? So you can set the width and the height. So there we can set some, some dimensions of how big this little block of the video must be used to display. And then you need to have the source of where the video is coming from. Now you can't just go and copy and paste the, the video link and put that here. There's a little bit of, of editing that you need to do. So let's have a look at it step by step. First thing you need to do is you need to put in www.youtube.com with the HTTP part obviously. So you put in that part, that's the first part. Then you're gonna put slash embed. So you must put the slash embed part and then you close the slash. That's that part. And then you need to put the code for the YouTube video that you want to display. Now, where do we get that code from? Well, if you want to what, get the code for a YouTube video, I suggest that you go play the video that you want to display in your page. Go look at it, go find it on YouTube, actually have it playing in your web browser, and then you click on that share button. If you click on that share button, you'll get the, the, the link to that particular video that you want. And there, after you see that look, that, uh, there, that HTTPS U2.B, Everything after the B slash there, that code there, that's the code you want. So you will take that code and you will put that after your word embed. And if you do that, then you'll have the correct uh, source to show off that video in your web page. So let's go try them out quickly. So we're back on our page and let's say over here somewhere under the word Mr. Long Education. Somewhere over here, we want to say don't do it the long way do it the mr long way so that's the text i want to display but i want to have it scroll so if i refresh there we can see the text i want it to actually scroll across the page so i'm going to include a marquee tab marquee q e there we go marquee did i spell it 
I think I've oh, the U, Mr. There we go. There we go. There's the marquee tab. There we go. Let's move up a bit so we can see it. And then I'm going to close the marquee tab there. Don't forget the U this time. Okay. So that's the marquee tab. So we put that around the text and let's just see what it looks like. Refresh. Hey, there we go. Look, it's coming, it's coming. There we go. It's all scrolling across the page. Oh, look how cool that is. And then when it gets to the side, it's going to probably disappear. Oh, it's going to, oh, it's going to crash. Oh, oh, it's all disappearing. It's all being eaten up. And then it's gone forever. It's never going to come back. Wait, no, there it comes back. There we go. There it comes back again. So there we go. Nice little feature for your marquee. Um, so while that's scrolling, uh, let's look for something that we can delete. Let's say we want to get rid, let's say, uh, I'm going to say, get rid of the word, just click. So where's the word just click welcome to my channel and there it says just click so i'm going to put the dell tag around just click i don't know why i'm doing this but i'm just doing it just to show you so the dell tag is just around just click and we can refresh and there you can see you can barely see it but there's actually a line that's gone through the word just click so there we go so we got our dell tag there boom fantastic okay great that's one done and uh, what else we want to mark i, I want to mark the the RT and cat. So let's go to the RT and cat and we're going to use the mark tag. Now mark. We're going to open mark by the word RT and cat. At the end of the word cat, we're going to close the mark tab. So there's mark around the word RT and cat over there. So let's have a look. Save, refresh. There you can see it puts a nice little highlight around that particular text so you can use that and then the last one let's row right to the bottom somewhere over here underneath before the go to top option it's over here somewhere there's the go to option over here let's go put in a video we're going to use the r frame tag and then we're going to close the r frame tag immediately and then we're going to we don't actually need anything in between us so we're going to set the width of the video to let's say it's 200 and the height equals i don't know 180 i don't know we can specify that and then we need to put the source now the source equals if you remember correctly it's http colon slash slash youtube.com okay you remember where's the double quotes there's the double quotes youtube.com that was the first part for the source then you had to say slash embed slash okay now i need to get the code i need a i need some sort of random youtube video okay i'll go to my channel and I have a random YouTube video. Look, it's a random number. So I'm going to use this random one. Click on the share button. Boom. And when this pops up, we should see a little code at the end. Ah, there, that code. That's what I want. I want that code. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it at the end of my video. Boom. And then close it. Let's save. Look, so we don't need this anymore. I'm going to go back here. I think that's right. Let's try it. Let's save it. And then I'm going to come here and refresh. And now if I scroll to the bottom, there's a little YouTube video now. It doesn't look very great. I'm just probably make the width a bit bigger. Let's make it 320 and 400. 4,400. And if you do something like that, you can make your YouTube video just a little bit bigger. But there we go. We can watch our YouTube video over there. Obviously, you can play with dimensions. Find a nice dimension to display your video. But there I can now display a YouTube video inside of my web page. They're using our frame. So there we go. Our frame that we did. We did the mark option which was the highlight we did the strike through or the dell option which was there and then there it's still going that marquee is still still scrolling they see me scrolling okay there we go so they're scrolling at the top there so there's the marquee okay so hopefully those are you can use two of them for your pet if you don't want to use them for your pet you can use them for your websites in general nice little tags add some funky features all the videos from the series can be found in the video description below as well as on the playlist tab at our YouTube channel where you can subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.